this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to add animated hover states to your Figma banner designs and then export those out to production ready HTML automatically. So to do this we're just going to go to the Figma community and search for the term Bannerify. So that's B-A-N-N-E-R-I-F-Y and under the plugins tab you'll see Bannerify pop up and all you need to do is click on the install button on the right hand side and then you'll be ready to go. So once you've installed the plugin just jump back into your Figma file and the Figma file should have a bunch of frames in it and each frame should contain the layers that you want to include as the elements in your timeline. So to start up the plugin we just right click anywhere, go down to plugins and then click on Bannerify and that's just going to open up the plugin that we just installed a minute ago. So when the plugin loads it'll ask you to select which frames in your file you want to load in uh, to be banners. So today I'm just going to be using the MREC uh, banner and you can use as many as you want. But I'm just going to use one for today and click on the load selected banners button. So you can see that's just loaded up my MREC sized banner and it's included all of the layers from our Figma designs. So if we go through the timeline you can see I've already added some animations to it and I'm not going to be showing you how to do that in this particular tutorial. Um, there's some other YouTube tutorials on our channel if you want to go through those. Um, today I'm just going to be focusing on how to add uh, another state which will be the hover state to any of our elements here. So to do that uh, all we need to do is select the layer that we want to add a hover state to. So for example if I want to add a hover animation to my button, my CTA, I just click on the uh, add hover toggle in my layer. So that's just going to toggle on a brand new animation setting down here. So you can see we've got our entry animation and our exit animation by default but checking this add hover toggle now reveals a new uh, animation selector for hover animations. So by default it won't have any animation set on it but we can open up this select box and start browsing some of the hover animations that are included. So for example if we wanted to add a simple grow animation, so if we click on grow uh, you can see here that it's revealed the timeline speed so we can change the speed of the hover effect so if I increase that to one second for example and then over in my preview I can actually now preview that hover animation in real time. So if I hover over the apply button you can see that it's actually applying that grow animation and if I reduce the speed we can speed up that hover animation uh, considerably so that's now 0.3 seconds. Um, but I can go through all of these and basically see uh, what one is going to suit this creative. So I can do a rotation which will rotate the CTA slightly. I can do a bunch of more fancy ones so we can do bounce in. Um, I can also set it to loop so if I want it to continue to play while I'm hovering over it I can check this loop toggle and now if I hover over it you can see that it's going to continually play that animation whereas if I turn the loop off uh, the hover animation only goes in and it doesn't keep repeating. It'll just do a hover state and won't keep looping but if I turn that on it'll keep looping. Uh, and again I can change the speed of that one too so if I want to slow it down just extend the timeline and now it's a one second playthrough so that animation is going to take a second. So that's basically what it looks like to add the hover effects. We can add this to as many layers as we like. So if we wanted to add one to the logo, we do the exact same thing. Go to the logo layer, click on the add hover, and that's just going to reveal the hover animation uh, selector. And again, you can select any of these. There's a whole bunch in here. So we can do a skew animation. If you wanted to skew the logo, uh, we can change it to be a wobble. So we can wobble the animation and have that just a little uh, one one time playthrough or again we can repeat that by clicking the loop button and just having it continually wobble or we can slow that down as we said before. So I'm just going to leave it with those two for now and then to get this uh, out to HTML all we need to do is click on the export to HTML button, go down to our code output settings so we can just select if we want to export it to HTML CSS uh, green sock animation or most likely an ad platform. So if you're exporting to Google Ads or double click uh, you'll likely want to click on one of these. But today I'm just going to be keeping it simple and exporting to HTML and CSS. And you can add your CTA down here. So if you do want to include a click tag uh, you can pre-populate that down here. So I can add in the hypermatic domain so I can pop that in there. 
And then all I need to do is click on the export banner button. So I'll click that now. That's gonna generate all of the HTML and CSS for us. I'm gonna click on the download your zip file button, save that to the desktop, double click on the zip file that it's just saved to unzip that. And then I'm gonna open up the folder that it's unzipped and go to the index.html file. So I'm gonna drag that into my browser just so we can see what it looks like. And you can see here we've got our uh, banner uh, animating in as we expected. And then now because we've added our hover effects, you can see here when I hover over the CTA, it's playing our looped animation that we set. And I can also hover over the logo as well. So if I hover over the logo section, uh, that will also animate in as we'd expect. So this is the preview page. If you've got a bunch of banners, they'll all show up here. If you need the actual individual banner, it's just inside of this banners folder here. So if we drag that into the browser, there we go. So that's the hover animation and hover animation set on both those layers. Okay, so that's gonna do it for today. Uh, as I said, this is a really short tutorial just to specifically go through how to add the hover animation states onto any layers into your banner timeline. And uh, the other thing I should have mentioned is you can do this in bulk as well. So if you need to apply a hover animation to multiple layers, you can just click on multiple layers in the timeline. And then in the add, in the add hover checkbox down here, just select that and that'll reveal the hover animation in the bulk application uh, panel as well. So you just click on add hover, click on the animation you wanna to apply to multiple layers. So in this case, I'm gonna use the grow animation and loop it and then just click on the apply animations to selected layers and that will apply the animation uh, that you want to set and this will apply the entry exit and hover so make sure you've got them all set up the way that you actually want and then just click on the apply animations to selected layers so once you do that you'll see that the animations get applied in the timeline in bulk so both these layers are now the same and so if we hover over these you can see now this one's playing the grow animation and this one is also playing the grow animation in the exact same way. Uh, the other way you can do this really quickly is you can just use the copy and paste setting as well. So if you click on copy and then you click on paste in another layer, that's gonna copy and paste all of the uh, animation attributes from the layer you copied it from over to the, the layer that you quickly pasted it to. So this is just a really quick way if you just need to do a couple of layers and copy some animation settings that you've already created. So here was as well, we can see that it's copy and pasted that hover effect. So now all three of our layers actually have that exact same hover effect on it. So that's what that looks like there. And thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials just like this one very soon.